Hi friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki, I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader, third grader, and five and three year old doing a pre-K level. Currently, we're in our about eighth year of homeschooling. Um, we are a larger family who loves to travel and get out and see the world, and that is all the things that I share with you here on this channel. Uh, today's video is a um, new thing that I have recently found a new homeschool resource, or just really a resource for anybody who um, is interested in the topic, but it is called um, Honest History. And so it's a like a magazine that you can get um, and I'm gonna share with you share it with you guys today. So this video is not necessarily sponsored, but I do want to mention that I am an affiliate with Honest History. I do have a code or a link down um, in my description box for you guys and that you can use the code homeschoolology to get 10% off, um, a, like a coupon code 10% off for you guys. So I do want to mention that from the start, um, but I joined their affiliate program because I love their product. Um, so this is, uh, I have like seen their online, um, they have, do have them online as well, so you can get some of them online. But this was our like first like real order um, of the actual physical product, and I'm going to share that with you guys today. So Honest History coins themselves as a quarterly adventure magazine for young historians, and I think that's actually great. And my favorite part is it's right in the title. It is Honest History, so it is not going to be presenting any whitewashed information or hiding anything that might be a little bit difficult. Um, it's going to address that in a kid-friendly way and that is what I appreciate the most about these magazines. They are, they do say they're best for ages um, 6 to 12 years old. However, I really think my, um, all of my kiddos are going to enjoy that. My youngest, she, who's only, she'll be, she's about to turn four guys. Um, she is going to enjoy the, the beautiful pictures and I, she just loves being read to. So I know she's just going to enjoy looking at it and being read to. Um, so I think she's going to get a lot from it anyways. My son, who is now six year old, six years old, um, he has had a birthday, uh, just recently. And so I think he's really going to enjoy these a lot because he also likes to be read to and look at pictures. But I do think my 13 year old is still going to enjoy these. She's about to be, um, she's about to be 13. And so I think she's still really going to get a lot of, from these. And that's actually who I bought these for to kind of go along with our history unit. My, um, my middle daughter, who is about to turn nine, she's going to join us for those. So, that, you know, this is for both of them, really. But they just launched a new subscription bundle, and that is what I signed up for. And basically, you get to choose three of the magazines that come quarterly, and you get to choose which three that you want, um, which I think is amazing. It's not just like a normal subscription box where you get what you get. You actually get to choose. I got to choose um, to get the Olympics and the Age of Legends, which is... Um, Greek and the um, Roman copy because those are the first things that we are going to come to in our history units and so those are what I focused the topics I wanted to focus on um so I think that is really great and then my next my next one I get to pick again which three that I want so I'll pick the next three that come in history because they weren't released in like chronological order um like issue the issue on Rome is issue four and the issue on the Greeks is issue 17 so um they're not in chronological order at all so but I think it's great that I can choose to purchase them in chronological order because that's what works for our family they do have a book series as well it is the history is series they are designed for ages 8 to 12 so um I haven't actually looked peeked through this one yet we're going to do that together um but my kiddos love um, food all things food and so I thought this would be a really fun addition to our history program um, to see what kinds of things people ate through time they do ship internationally so even our friends over in other countries can take advantage of this as well um, they do ship in the US they ship, ship media mail which does take a little bit of extra time but it's also very inexpensive which I love and like I said you can get the, some of the um, issues digitally both online and on the app that they have so I will um, I actually haven't signed up for the app yet, but I think I'm going to. So I'll let you guys know about that experience. And they do even have a, a couple of free ones so you guys can get a look inside of these. That's what I look, that's what I took advantage 
of. I looked inside of the free ones and thought, wow, this is really something that I think is, would add so much value to our homeschool. All of that being said, I'm going to change the battery in my uh, my camera because it is about to die. And then I'm going to turn you guys around and show you guys inside of these magazines that we got and chat with you guys a little bit about that. And I'll meet you back here at the end. Okay, so here is Honest History. I have the magazines and the book. So I'm gonna push the book to the side for now and show you guys inside of the magazines first. So uh, let's see, maybe we will start in um, the order. So this one is the Age of Legends and um, it's just very, very beautiful on the inside. I just love all the color and the pages are really nice quality. You guys know I love me a good quality paper and they are. You're gonna get um, just information about the magazine and who, who you know, worked on this one. Everyone starts with a letter to the young historian that shares about like what they did to put together this issue, your table of contents, and then it moves on into your activities and information. So I love that it's not just throwing information at you. It is also has activities within it. So things that the kids can actually do to learn about the um welcome to greece so here was greece here is the map and i'm just like y'all this is gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous so i'm not going to necessarily show you the, the whole thing um but i did want to give you guys a kind of a peek through i'll flip through here a little bit um of all the wonderful information that's inside of here i mean guys look at this how gorgeous so I just think that my kids are going to eat this up. They are going to love all this beautiful artistry and the snippets of information um, that is presented in a, in a really nice and honest way. That's what I think is so important. Um, so let's see, let's jump here to the end. And I love this. There is a quiz for them to um, test their knowledge after they've read the magazine. There is an activity to really think about what they just learned about. And then there are a couple of little activities here in the back. And then they include um, where you can cut this out and write to the Honest History Company if you want. These are some of their other magazines here. Or well, these are magazines. Oh no, this is the History Is book. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys inside the one that we got in a minute. So that is that one. Um, I'll give you, I'm just gonna give you a little flip through of this one. So you can see it's the same structure. The note to the young historian about how this issue was created, the table of contents, jumps right into the information. And then at the end, or some of them have coloring pages in them, um, but here it's thinking about what you learned about and then um, creating your own Olympic medal, which I think is really fun. And then a timeline, which is always great to have. And then of course the little activities in the back as well. And one last one to flip through. That one, um, I forgot to tell you guys, but that one was the one, the spirit of the games. So this one goes from, from ancient Egypt, or Egypt, <laughs> ancient uh, Greece, where they were formed, and then um, goes all the way through modern day history, which I think is gonna be a really fun thing to connect kiddos to history, you know, to long ago. Um, and then the last one that I got in this, in this bundle or in this um, subscription bundle was the story of an empire, which is Rome. And so as you can see, again, it is a note to the young historian and then the table of contents. I just think that this is gorgeous. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, like I feel like you've cut these map pages out and post them in your homeschool room um, and just have a wall of beautiful, beautiful art that is educational. And so, as you can see, it goes through a bunch of different stories. This one it talks a lot about like Latin, um, Latin words and Latin, and how we, those became Latin roots for our language. Um, and then there is again, that thinking about what you learned and a few activities, or this is, I guess, talking about the different um, buildings in Rome, which I think is really neat. A coloring page, a activity for you to do, 
a couple of word searches and mazes and then that is the end of that as well so as you can see just absolutely gorgeous artwork lots of great information honest information um things for them to do all of those great things are included in this magazine so i think that's going to be a really great addition to our history program and i think anyone's history program really honestly so this one i was excited about because my kids love all things food and i knew it had recipes in it and i knew that that would be a great addition to our history so this is the very first time i'm looking inside this book i saved it for like so you guys could see my first impressions of it but let's dive into this book so this is their history is series and history is delicious so see really great quality again like a nice hardback book nice pages you guys know paper is important to me so this talks about america europe asia <clears throat> coffee break if ethiopia continents from around the world the middle east and that's it so let's flip through so it's divided into sections and it talks about um, oh, table settings and how those are. And then it starts talking about, oh, it's North America and South America. And then we have France, Italy. Oh, this is really cool. So it's giving a little bit of information about um, each place and then talking about the, the different kinds of dishes. And then, let's see. Oh, this is really cool, Spices of the World. So, okay, so I thought, okay, here we go. Um, the Middle East, here's a recipe. So it does give you a recipe and directions on how to make that, so. I guess there's a recipe at the end of each unit. Let's see. Yeah, so here's a recipe here to make corn tortillas. Yeah, so there's a recipe at the end of each um, each section, each of the sections. So that is just kind of a peek inside of this book. I do think my kiddos are really gonna enjoy this and I am interested in picking up some of their other titles. So I think I'm gonna insert a little bit of a screen roll here to kind of show you guys around their um, website. So let's jump over and do that. Okay, so here is their um, website. You get free shipping on orders over $60, which I think is really great. Um, but you can see that it is, they have a podcast, which I think is really fun too. I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, but this is what we did, the subscribe. Um, this is what we did. So subscribe and get history delivered to your doorstep. We get You get three magazines quarterly. And then you get to choose which magazines that you want to come in that. And then that's the bundle. That's the create your own bundle. Or you can buy a single issue. Or you can. these are the box sets that I was talking about. So I think it's like issues one through six or seven. And then the next set of issues. So that is that. And then let's see. So these are the latest issues. And let's shop the magazines. So this is the magazine bundle that I did here. You save 7% automatically with doing the bundle. And then again, if you use my coupon code, um, homeschoolology, or the link that's listed down below, you'll get another 10% off as on top of that. So you, as you can see, you go in, you choose whatever magazines you want to be part of that. Um, and it's only $40, which I think is pretty great. Uh, and then these are the books. Um, right now, these are the ones that they have. Um, inventive, delicious, and rich. So I, uh, after looking at the delicious one, I definitely think the, we will add these other two to our um, learning as well. The um, bank one would probably be a good one because the bank started very early on too. So that is that. They also have bundles and apparel. These are the... the um, the issues 1 through 6 and 7 through 12, um, they're grayed out, so they might not be available right now. They're out of stock. So, But you can see they come in these really nice um, boxes. So that is a look at their website. 
it always pops up. Um, and again, when you check out, you just hit type in homeschoolology and the coupon code and you'll get 10% off. So those are, that is Honest History, both the magazines and the books that they have put out. I really think these are going to add a lot of value to our history program. My kiddos love visual things, things that are beautiful visually. And um, so I think that they're really going to enjoy these. It's also like bite-sized information. I feel like they, uh, they grasp that and retain that so much better than like a whole big long story. They like the bite size. That's why I think they like resource books so much because everything is in bite-sized information um, and so I really just think that these are gonna be so great for us I'm and yeah so I hope you guys found that helpful or useful again if you are interested in purchasing your own you can purchase them just a single issue you can purchase the bundle um, which saves you a little bit they do have like box sets um, and the box looks beautiful that I've seen from other people so uh, I wanted the reason I didn't do that was because I wanted these specific ones and that that wasn't necessarily one of the, the box sets but um anyways that's why i chose to do the subscription and said instead and let's see i think that is all that i have if you have any questions go ahead and drop them down in the comments and i will do my best to either answer them or point you in the right direction to find the answer i like i said i will be linking my referral link down below or you can use the coupon code um, homeschoolology over at their website i think that is all that i'm going to share with you guys today so i hope you will come back and chat with me again really soon don't forget you can always check in with us over on instagram at homeschoolology and i hope you will come back here and chat with me again real soon i'll talk to you guys later bye